Oh, let's see what it's gonna be like if it's 1024 by 1024 because the pixels are matched. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, but I forgot to change the resolution, so maybe it won't look good, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> it is now generating our image. So you just need to wait and see what it's going to offer you. Oh, that's that's nice. That's decent. What is up, you guys? AOS Lens again on your screen, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to review a beta feature that has been released in a Filmora 12 update, but it's not yet released in public. So, I just want to make a short review about it as early as I could so that you will have an idea what's coming next for Filmora 12. I just want to show you how it works and how it can help you on your future projects with Filmora 12. So without further ado, let's start. All right, so when you go here in media, you can already see here a new button, which says AI image. Start your creativity with AI image. So basically when you click this, you're going to see two workspace. The left side will be the place where you can type in your request to the AI and the right side will show the results of your request. And the results are obviously automated because I've tried it once and it's not very, very smart yet. But I know it can improve more because it's still in beta version, okay? In this table, you can type whatever you want to see or whatever you want to automatically generate on the right side. Note that you only have five tries per day. I think this will only be for better version. But I already used this once, so the number of images left to create is just four. And I think it will replenish on the next day. Okay, so you only got five tries every day. In order for you to get the best results that you want, you should at least follow the suggested description in this table. It says here that description is better with no less than 10 words, including picture content, composition, color, detail, description, etc. For example, a lake in winter. I want to create a logo using the AI image and let's see if it will work well for us. And I hope we can generate a decent picture or image from this tool. Okay, so we're going to replace this logo with our logo, okay? Okay, so that's how the intro goes. What I want to do right now is go again to AI image. And since the template or the theme of the template is neon, we're going to generate a neon logo also. So let's just type in some words in our mind right now or words in my mind. I will just type some words in my mind right now. Let me try neon logo. I'm thinking of an ice cream. Ice cream logo with neon colors. Ice cream with cone logo with neon colors. PNG file type. <laughs> Maybe it can work that way. I hope so. I hope it's transparent because if it's not, eh, it's gonna ruin the logo. Alright, so it was mentioned earlier that we need to type at least not less than 10 words. So this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, these are 12 words. What you're gonna want to do right now is to hit start creating. And as you can see here on the right side, it is now generating our image so you just need to wait and see what it's going to offer you oh that's that's nice that's decent okay wow i'm impressed <laughs> earlier oh but the problem is this ice crew or maybe it's ice creme <laughs> Uh, I think that's just the flaw of AI tools, you know. You will not achieve perfection when it comes to automation, but this one's kind of decent, you know. The thing that I am concerned of is when I type PNG file type, I think I forgot to type also transparent background because that's what I want for this intro. But I think this one will work well. 
let's try to download it just click the download button right here and you can already save it to your media folder so to replace this logo is very easy you just need to drag this picture then hold alt key and drop it to this replace your logo clip and now it's your own logo this one's nice i didn't expect it to look like this just the ice cream <laughs> the spelling okay it missed a letter like letter a okay but if it's if, if this is ice crew <laughs> then it's okay for me but it looks like letter m for me how about you guys what do you think all right so let's watch it okay so that's a problem it's not transparent the background is not transparent so it went on the way but you can still adjust it if you want so right here we got a problem and we can make it like this um, mask tools yep there you go we're gonna rename this www.icecrew.com there you go <laughs> my 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 video is in the middle already let me just put my video right here okay so as you can see we replaced yourlogo.com with icecrew.com because that's what the ai offered us so let's try to play it one more time there you go icecrew.com <laughs> okay so yeah i was impressed uh now i'm going to generate another picture for you guys how about we try a very specific art let's say mona lisa with a mask and a fall season mona lisa painting with a surgical mask <laughs> in a fall season one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's ten i think we can create it now let's start, start creating Oh, but I forgot to change the resolution, so maybe it won't look good, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. So if you're very specific with what you want for this tool, it will give you good quality art or image. But for this one, Mona Lisa. This is not Mona Lisa, bro. I think this is just a random uh, generated image of an ai of course it's not that very smart you know but yeah it's decent ai integration in filmora 12 is a very nice feature but it's not that smart yet you know what let's try another one thor god of thunder starry night by vincent van gogh let's try this one <laughs> So I only have one image left to create for this day and I hope tomorrow it will be replenished because <laughs> I would like to try more, you know. Let's see what it's gonna be like if it's 1024 by 1024. I, th I think it's still square, you know, because the pixels are matched. Oh, this one's nice. All right. So this is, I think, the latest Thor because his hammer is not the Mjolnir anymore. And this one's nice actually i forgot to download mona lisa earlier i'm going to download this ai image because i like it all right so that's it guys and uh, yeah i liked the integration of automated ai image generator i liked it very much but you know there are a lot of room for improvement on this new feature and i hope that they will prepare for this and look better for ways on how to improve this newest feature of them so that users like me and you will enjoy this in our future projects you know so that's all thank you so much guys and i hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe hey it's lance and i'm signing off peace out